So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back into that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find any eggs, our expertly trained armies would hunt you down and take them back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry, and you won't like me when I'm angry. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. Today we have Spyro Year of the Dragon for the Xbox Series SX. So, continuing on, we have completed these games. For some reason this game only goes to 100% despite having Dragon Shores done too. And then this one is 120 and I believe this one goes up to 130 I think. Or it's 110. But anyways, we'll be doing Year of the Dragon. And let me guess, in the world of dragons? Oh, no, an evil plot unfolds. Let's watch. Argus, you lazy buffoon. A powerful villain emerges. Let's watch. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Mm. A desperate rescue begins. Let's watch. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the Dragon Worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Realms. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it! Yeah. Ooh, an even more epic story than originally planned. Anyway, so yeah, this game is a little different. Because each world, the gem total in each level actually increases. So in this one, it's 400. The home world will always be 400, though. But then it would go from 400, 500, 600, to 700. So there's four worlds with a bunch of levels and stuff. There's skill points, Sunny Villa, Molten Crater, Seashell. No boss in this game, though, uh, for uh, skill points, which is nice. So we'll be able to get all the concept. They really made the skill points in Spyro 2 really difficult compared to Spyro 1 and 3, for whatever reason. So yeah, kind of like the other Spyro games, we kind of do the exact same thing, except they add a bunch of new style mini games in this, and some of them are ridiculously annoying. 
Uh, there's one that we're going to face later on, and I'm kind of dreading it just because of the way it functions. Also, this game actually has my least favorite level out of any Spyro game, despite being my favorite of the three Spyro games. And so your whole gimmick in this game is to collect eggs and gems. That's it, just eggs and gems. So, Spyro 1 technically had the most collectibles out of any game, but still. Well, we'll grab this egg. It's Isabel. Alright. We got our first egg. I believe she'll just tell you about the camera, I'm pretty sure. Oh. A rainbow is coming our way. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back into that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find any eggs, our expertly trained armies would hunt you down and take them back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. What are you, the Hulk, Bianca? Also, what hole? We clearly didn't come through a hole over there. Also, this kind of looks like Magic Crafters, if you think about it. They've reused assets from it, obviously. But it's what it reminds me of, is it, is, is it looks a lot like Magic Crafters. Also, there's always six eggs in a level, except for the homeworlds, which have five. Oh, and then speedways have three. So, yeah. Also, each world has an animal buddy that you'll need to fully complete the game. So, I recommend doing this level and then Cloud Spires first, and then unlocking your animal buddy. And then taking on Sunny Villa, despite Sunny Villa actually being the very first level of the game. You cannot 100% unless you get Sheila, and you don't get enough gems to unlock her. Actually, you might get enough gems. I think you only need 300, and there's 400 here, so never mind. I think you can actually 100% it. Or 100% it. Unlock her first. So we'll do that, and then that'll probably be over the end. Where we end the episode. Maybe. Because some of these levels in this game, like Sunny Villa, actually take a long time. Not because there are long levels. In this game, honestly, the levels are really short. What makes them long is the mini-games. The levels themselves are actually very tiny, and they usually only take like 30 seconds to charge around in a complete circle, but... Also, you'll need eggs to power up the portals, because with the, without the eggs here, the magic's been wearing off, because dragons haven't lived here long enough, in such a long time. So, we can also use the head bash again and get Liam Neeson. That is a big crybaby and a half. Honestly, if you collect all the eggs from World 1, though, like, all the ones that you can collect, just, you know, because there are some that you can't complete, because this level in particular is, I think, the only level here that you can't 100% complete. So, yeah, but if you do that, then you'll never be short on eggs. Like, you don't even need to 100% all the levels in World 2 to then be able to do the levels in World 3 and 4 and etc, etc. These are Sparks levels that you'll have to come back to after you beat the entire world. So like if I were to beat every level here and then come back, this would be open. So yeah, and we also need 14 eggs to go to this water-based level. Also, unlike other Spark games, the only lava level in this game is actually in World 1. And then we need 20 eggs to get to this giant portal here. You think this would be like some really epic, like, boss or like, I don't know, something like really cool? It's a speedway. It is one of my favorite speedways in the entire Spyro series, but it is just a speedway. It's nothing like super out of the ordinary or extremely special, but it gets the job done. In this game, I don't feel like speedways are actually that bad. Also, I keep missing literally every gem because the hitboxes in the water are really, really weird in this game. And I'm not talking about just Spyro 3, I'm just talking about the Reignited Trilogy, not Spyro as a whole or anything. Okay, I think we have everything. You can also track gems in this again. 
Which is funny, we got Bruce Lee. <laughs> Sir, how are you talking underwater? Wait, why are you... Why are you saying there's a gem right there? Weird. Uh, he just talks to you about swimming. She talks to you about moving your camera. Stuff like that. Nothing really important. We can, however, get an egg from Hunter up here. Yo, Spyro! I just found one of those portal thing in the jigs that leads to a different world. But you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me! Okay, we probably won't go through the tutorial because we're literally playing this directly after the first one. I saw something. Actually, I don't even know if you need to hover to get to this one, do you? Oh, no, never mind, you do. Oh, I almost forgot! I found this egg! Wow. Oh. Coltrane. I don't know a cool name for Coltrane. Or, like, a famous person named Coltrane. Sorry. But, yeah, that's done. Thank you very much. This is yeah, we know what a Superfly power-up is. It's literally self-explanatory, too. Even as a kid, I didn't need someone to describe what the heck they did. It's like, oh, I see wings. Probably make me fly instead of glide, right? And lo and behold, that's exactly what it did. And that looks like all the gems. Nice. Which means now we can do this. Now, in the original game, there's some lives up here, but you couldn't technically get it before the egg. But in this version of the game, you actually can. See, ta-da. In the original, it would actually cut you off right here and force you to get the egg. Amy. Amy Winehouse. Spelt the wrong way, though. Actually, you know what? Let's go do Cloud Spires, because I like using cutscenes for thumbnails, and we don't get a cutscene if we do the next two levels, so... Yeah. Let's do this one. That The level loaded faster than it took to put our gems away. Oh yeah, by the way, enemies in this game drop gems again. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know, it feels way more satisfying defeating an enemy if it drops a gem than if it drops a spirit particle. Rhinox have shut down our cloud generator, and I may never see a rainbow again. Okay. Also, they were all very feminine sounding in the original. They actually made some of them sound like males in this game, which is kind of interesting, considering it wasn't like that in the original. I think they were all female. That or they're just very girly. Oh. This one tells you about gliding, despite you already doing gliding. I guess it's if you accidentally come through here, right? Now, keep those shield guys in mind. We killed three of them so far, right? Yeah, just wait till you see when we get the advice for it. It'll be, like, so out of place it's not even funny. You know, this level does look like it'd be partnered up with, uh... The home world, that's for sure. The metal armor those enemies are See what I mean? We already killed three of them. Despite getting the advice right there. Are you just gonna go her 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 the entire time? Yeah, you're just annoying. Nobody wants to listen to you go ha 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 all day. Ha 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 Oh my god, they're still doing it. They're still doing it in the background, man. Why? Why do they have to make such silly sounds? I get that it's funny, but still, come on, man. Oh, hello, enemy. Hello, other enemy guarding egg. Want these gems first, and who do we have here? Our first egg of the level. Uh, hello? Oh, it's Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Oh, you're a fat little one. Right. Let's grab... Or not grab. Let's... Where's the button? Let's hit the button. And, oh, lo and behold, Moneybags is here again. Well, well. If it isn't my favorite dragon. 
The sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I might look the other way if I was distracted. Counting gems. Yeah, sure. Oh, yes. Precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows anytime you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. Yeah, you just work for everybody, don't you? Just like, oh, whoever pays the most money. He's like Deadpool. Pay me money, I do what you want, you know, kind of thing. And you're dead, you opera singing Binox. Oh, remember Hunter's advice? Oh yeah, she doesn't say remember Hunter's advice in this game, but she does remind you how to glide. Man, so many gems, man. Like, I feel like there's so many gems just in this area, despite not really being that many. Oh, I can hear the opera singers. So yeah, this is technically the final part of the level, but to get to this mini game, you actually need to. Wait, is that the beginning of the level? Okay, no, it's not. I'm like, wow. All right, now we can go in here, and this is a sun seed challenge. Our sun has gone out. We can make a new one with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds, but they keep burning out before we can get them in the pot. Okay. Step on the switch to get a fresh sun seed and keep flaming it until you get it into the pot. When did you guys all become male? I'm so confused. It's a weird gender swap this time. Not one you'd expect. Oh well. No harm, no foul, right? Why does it sound like it's spitting every now and then? <laughs> I guess it's because it's in lava, right? Maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to give reasons to why it would be making weird sounds, but I don't have any. Not one bit. Developing a weird headache while playing these games for you guys, which kind of sucks, because I still have quite a bit of recording to do. But I am having fun playing these games, that's for sure. Alright, I think we got all the gems in here. Yeah, Sparks is pointing away from us. Yeah, we got them all. So, now for this one, like they said, you just have to follow it around and flame it a bunch of times. Pretty cool, I guess. Boing, boing, boing. Yahoo! The sound effects they make are kind of funny, though. That's for sure. Yahoo! Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing. There's a lot of hazards in this game, like that flamethrower thing right there, man. Just, just straight up trying to torch Spyro. Oh my god, Spyro's drunk, no. And this one starts to burn out really quickly compared to the others. Burn out or go out? Oh man, we failed it. That's funny, I don't think I've ever failed that before. That's what I get for having my Xbox turned away from me. Like, sometimes I have to press the uh, a certain button twice before it even registers. Also, I don't remember these flamethrowers never, like, you know, or not ever going out. But there we go, we finished the Sun Seed Challenge. Now that's what I call a sun! Here, you can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. I think it might be a dud, though. No, it's Lululemon, man. It's not a dud, it's a dragon. I wonder, do they actually talk to you again in this? No, a lot of characters, for some reason, in the remakes don't have an option to talk to them again. Despite them originally having dialogue. Oh, you activated the bellows! Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. All right, let's see if you can. Hey, an egg shot out. That's not at all like what is this in the original. I actually showed the egg being stuck in it, forcing it out. The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clog up the cloud generator. Yay, it's Henry Adams. <laughs> or oh, Henry. Now it's raining in the level. Yeah, and then in this game, they actually leave through the portal because you do need them. 
But with that active, we can now activate this whirlwind here. Reference the spiral one for you guys who don't know. Yes, yeah, so now we have this one where we have to go around and kill these weird demon spirits from Spyro 2 in these uh, bell towers. To, I guess, wake up a cloud, I, I think. I think that's what we're doing. We'll see. Ding, ding, ding. Aha. Now it's raining. Do you want this doodad? It fell out of the belfry. Okay, thank you, Jake Park. Or Jake from State Farm. Ooh, hi. Uh, oh, hi, dragon. I never knew it said hi. Thief! Thief! And he's stolen a dragon egg! I see thieves never seem to disappear. And Brian! Brian Adams. Bouncy butt. Alright, right on, buddy, right on. Let's grab all these gems in here then then we can go down to that last pathway and bada bing bada boom finish with a shroom now finish with a hundred percent that's for sure and then in the next episode we'll go do the Sheila level and probably Sunny Villa I think those two are worthy of an episode together because they technically require Sheila also Seashell Shore requires Sheila as well so technically that's another level that you gotta have her for there's actually still quite a few gems in this thing. We're, we're missing like 72. Alright, let's see. Is that everything here? Yeah, and that's everything in here, so let's leave. Head smash attack! Right, so now we gotta backtrack a little bit though. To go. Remember where we got that one egg over here? Oh, over here, in the same general vicinity, like up here. We're going to find a whirlwind that activates after you activate the uh, rain around the level. So we can grab this, and then this will lead us to the last egg. It's kind of like a little mini obstacle course with some gliding, some hazards, some enemies. Things like that. Looks like it'd be part of the normal level, though, when you look at it. Doesn't look like this would be like a post-main level part of the level. I don't know what that even means. I don't know what I'm going on about anymore. You regret so much and then you just lose your mind, you know? Oh yeah, and they're all here. Nice. And there we go, 400 gems. And our last egg, which is Claire from Resident Evil. Spelt the wrong way again. Nice. And with that, we got another 100%. So, with that, we might as well return home. Yeah, this, this game doesn't have cutscenes. So we made a grand total of 200 gems from that level, though, which is pretty good. Considering money bags is a chintzy bugger lips that never seems to leave us alone. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and in the next episode, we will be starting off with Dream Sheila. Bye-bye, guys.